Hey guys and gals, it's Augie again. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, organizing a blog post. I, I have a method that I use, and it's just a simple four-step method that, that anybody can use, and it's so, so uncomplicated that you might be able to adapt it to, to your blog post writing too. Uh, four steps, like I said. First step is to pick your topic. Uh, sometimes that's really the hardest thing for everybody, or for anybody to do. Depends on you. Uh, but there are a lot of ways that you can uh, uh, go through and pick out what you want to write about. One of the things that you really ought to write about and think about seriously is uh, your story. The, the people love to hear stories about everybody. And and if you can get tell people your story and, and relate it to blog posts, uh, to something in the world of blogging and the blogosphere, that's uh, you're on you're on the right track because people love this. Not only do they like to hear stories, it, it just tells them about you and makes you that more much more human, and uh, they feel that much better about listening to you and, and reading about you and doing what you think you think they ought to be uh, what you tell them they ought to be doing. Second one is to do your research. There are subjects that you'll be that you'll be. Uh, uh, an expert in and and probably a lot more that you won't be but you're gonna have to write about them anyway so you have to get on to either Google or, or look at YouTube uh, that I always recommend that to everybody because that's where the action is that's where you can get any information about anything anything that you want to find information about you can you can find it there third step is to uh, choose the points that you might gotta make you've got your topic You've done your research. Now you got to figure out exactly what you want to tell people about this particular topic that you've chosen. Uh, when you're writing a blog post, you really don't want to use more than three or between three, four, or five uh, different points about that because a blog post just isn't long enough to elaborate enough on any one. If you if you use too many, there are a lot of uh, people who have ideas about how long a blog post could be. I've heard, you know, 500, uh, 500 words, which is about a page, uh, a typewritten page, anywhere up to 15 or 18 or 2,000 words. To me, that's too much. People's attention spans really don't, aren't that long, and I think if you stick with five, six, seven hundred words, you'd be just about right. Um, so anyway, and, and the points, if you can fit three or five, three to five, three or four or five points in it, uh, that's good. For instance, in this particular piece, I've got four, I've got four steps that we're talking about. We're going to talk about picking a topic, doing research, choosing the points you want to make, and then finally, and we'll get on this right now, fill in the blanks. Filling in the blanks is the actual writing of the stuff that goes in, into each topic. It's not something that you should really be afraid of, although I, I know right now I can see right now that all your eyes are saying, oh my God, it's, I'm getting nervous now. This is the hard part. It's not the hard part. This is the easy part. This is the easy part. You picked your topic. You did your research. You decided what points you wanted to cover. Let's fill in the blanks. You know you know what? You know your stuff. You're an awesome guy and gal. Fill in your stuff and, and start writing about it. Remember, the worst thing you ever write is going to be better than the best thing you didn't write. So get in there and start writing. You are an awesome guy. You're an awesome gal. Get busy. Show me how awesome you are. Show me. Make me proud of you. Oh, I take that back. I'm already proud of you for doing this. So don't make me proud of you. Make me prouder. That's it for today. That's the four steps to make. Pick a topic. Do your research. Pick your points you want to make and fill in the blanks. Simple as that. So, talk to you next time.